there are 24 seasons in the traditional Japanese calendar. There's also 24 facets on this bottle. Today, I'm going to be opening up the Centauri Hibiki Harmony. As you can see, this is a really nice bottle. The bottle is faceted. 24 individual facets. They actually put some work into this. Centauri Whiskey Hibiki Harmony. 86 proof. This is coming to you from Beam Centauri, the conglomeration of Centauri Whiskey of Japan, as well as Jim Beam, as you know. Jim Beam, major conglomerate between bourbon and whiskey. They got it on lock, as I told you. They got everything you can need. If you want weeded stuff, they even got Maker's Mark. But yeah, been meaning to get into some Japanese stuff. This is the first time. Let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Nice cork pop, nice cork pop. While this is opening up, I just want to say thank you everyone for watching my videos. I know there's a lot of stuff you could be watching on YouTube. I appreciate you taking your time. This is a little bit lighter than what I usually try. I'm more of a like 100 proof and above, but this is how they do it in Japan. I got to try it as well. Looks to be very light. I mean, at such a low proof, I'm pretty sure this is going to be chill filtered, of course. Okay, now that it's been open for a while, I'm going to give you the nose and tell you what I see on the taste but you know it's 86 proof not expecting a lot of legs on here I'm getting mainly malted barley here light fruits kind of reminds me of a nice space side whiskey a lot of times when people hear like Japanese or something they think it's gonna be something weird but all it is is whiskey that's made in Japan I believe according to this this is a blend this is a blend of single malt as well as just regular single grain. So what that means this is gonna be whiskey that's made out of barley, and then they're gonna blend that with one or more whiskey. It could be corn whiskey, it could be wheat whiskey, any cereal grain all together in the blend. But yeah, the nose is really light and fruity. Let's go on for the taste. Cheers. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do here. Let me just give you an idea of what I would compare this to so you can have a basis of comparison. This is very light, very light. There's nothing really prominent. It's got like a very thin mouthfeel, a little bit of fruit. This reminds me a lot of the Glenmore G10 that you can pick up for about maybe $60. Uh, this does not have an age statement on it at least that I can see. So I'm thinking this is probably under that or else they would say it prominently. If it was 10 years or older, they would put it on the label because they know that people like numbers. I can tell you the finish I think is very quick. This seems like something that you would give to somebody who is like brand new to the, I wouldn't say Scotch because this is Japanese whiskey, but people who pretty much are new into the game not a lot going on here. Non-age stated, 86 proof. I can tell you initially though, I think it's good. Yeah, but overall really, there just really isn't that much going on here. You get a little bit of fruit, it's lower in proof, so you're not gonna get a lot of viscosity on here. It just tastes like a single, nice entry level whiskey to start off with. May change over time. I'm gonna enjoy having this beautifully faceted bottle around and I'll let you know what I think, but um, Hibiki. Japanese Harmony. Very well balanced is what I would say here. Good, not great. So I have to come back for the long term when I finish this sucker off and let you know what I think. But uh, just off the neck pour so far, can't go wrong with this. This is, again, I would just stress this. This is something like entry level. Like, you know, if you wanted like an entry level whiskey or scotch to get into, this is kind of along those same lines. This is not gonna impress anyone who's been in the game for a while, but that's just my first take. I'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. Dark Spirits, I'm out.